you made me all wobbly and you'd sort of it was sort of like a curveball like a rick sutcliffe or a burt blylevin type snapper when you mentioned jody davis well i, I mean I, hadn't heard, I wasn't expecting a name like that that's Nick. generous of you to say I, I i had more of a kent to colvey in mind but uh <laughs> That, that's the, <laughs> that's the, the 80s was the pinnacle of like my sister and my two cousins. We were all teenagers. Yeah. And of course, everybody was obsessed with Ryan Sandberg, the, the Superman of ma the Donny Osmond <laughs> of Major League Baseball. Um, and so my sister, I think <laughs> partly to to be uh, sort of obtuse, she was like, I'm not I'm not interested in Sandberg. Give me Jody Davis. And so. <laughs> So we, we were always obsessed with the statistics, uh, uh, comparing those two, and you know, uh, I guess I guess uh, through um, association, I maybe had a little bit of a crush on Jody Davis, you know, <laughs> as I was finding my adulthood, you know, as you had I, Jody Davis eyes. I was I was learning how to drive. Sure, I had Jody Davis eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that might have to be a new drop here on the Rich Eisen <laughs> Show, right there. Did have you ever done the rooftop viewing? At Wrigley, you have you ever done that? We my thing was the bleachers. Okay, and I I went up to a rooftop once for a game, and it was the good thing about it was if you had money, you could you could have a more hedonistic experience. You could get better food, <laughs> and you could get more drinks, and you were closer to the bathroom. I didn't have any money, and so the bleachers was my hang. Like we you know we would smuggle in beers and get a huge bag of peanuts. And get really stupid and scream at Jody Davis. <laughs> in, in, a, in a respectful way. In a, respect, in a very supportive way, yeah. <laughs> Gary Matthews, the Sarge, would come over and let us know when we were being a little too rambunctious. <laughs> and we, we would salute. Thank you, sir. Good, clean, fun. Go check it out in uh, bookstores. And obviously, go check it out online. The founder coming to a theater near you in mid-December. You are the man. Like I said, love Jim Fargo and Parks and Rec and everything you do. Thank you kindly. You bet. Thanks for coming on. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.